all about finding that root. Baritoners in Baritoner Land, Tyler from 10 Thumbspro.com. The first or second Wednesday of the month, we like to do a baritone lesson, and today it is our baritone day. So make sure you check out this playlist. Today I'm going to show you, if you know the key, how to play and solo and improvise to any song with just one scale. Literally one scale you can jam and play with any song. Printable tabs by becoming a Patreon. Subscribe. New ukulele every Wednesday, Saturday. Baritone, the first or second Wednesday of the month. Guitar on Mondays. Other social networks in the description. Just check the links. Think about becoming a Patreon and let's do it. Break it down. Grab the baritone, brain and attention span, and let's learn how to solo and shred to any song. Okay, so here we go. This ultimately will be more beneficial for you if you know all five shapes of the E minor pentatonic. I've done a video on that, I'll link it right here. Now, there are ways to look at a chord progression or a key signature and know the key of the song, but you can also just Google the song. So we're gonna start from there. Let's say there's a song you like and you wanna solo with it. First thing you do, Google what key is the song. So if I think of a song, for example, like Last Kiss by Pearl Jam, I Google it and it comes up that's in the key of G. So. With that information, the key of G major, I have enough information if I want to, to find the scale and improvise with the song. When you're doing this trick, you're using the minor and major pentatonic scales. The pentatonic, when improvising, is definitely the most forgiving scales because what they've done is they've taken a seven note scale and turned it into a five note scale. And the five notes that they've left are the most forgiving sonically. They work in the most places in that key. So I know my song's G and I wanna solo over it. What I need to do is I need to find the G major pentatonic scale. For this trick, we use our G string to find the major scale and we use our E string to find the minor scale. So here we go, this one's pretty easy. G, my G note's here. And from there, I build the shape. I start with my major root G note. G major song, G major pentatonic. First things first, find the G note. That is our tonal center and that's our root. It's always You're always gonna do the major ones on this string, minor on this string. So I find that and I fill in shape one of the major pentatonic. It's gonna be zero two, zero three, zero three, and then this string up here going the other way, zero two. So the whole shape, zero two, zero two, zero three, zero three. And I'm gonna show you how to move that in a second, but just note we found that by starting with this note and we plugged in this shape around that. Now, if you know all five shapes, you can work your way down the fretboard. If you only know one shape, that's still enough to improvise. And you do it by finding this root note and then building that exact shape. Well, let's say for example, the song is in C major. So we need to be able to do this again and we need to be able to find C major pentatonic shape one. So we start off G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. So we found our C note. This is our point of reference. This is what we use to build the scale. We remember on this string, we go up two frets, directly below it, up three frets, up three frets. Then the other way, directly above it, up two frets. So we get five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. 
you were to draw a square around this shape, you go doot, 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 doot. That is what's movable. Let's say the song is, I see a bad moon arising, D major. You find the D, C, C sharp, D. And with this note, you build that same exact shape around that note. when you're soloing it's important to note that you want the last note to be your root note so if you're soloing in D major you want the D note to be the last note of your solo if you're soloing in E major you want the E note to be the last note okay now what's cool about this is it's the exact same shape for the minor pentatonic you just use the idea on the E string so let's say for example the song is in G minor, like uh, I Shot the Sheriff. Well, you're gonna find your G on this string. E, F, F sharp, G. And it's the same shape, right? So I find my G, and on this string, remember it's one, two, three frets. So we get three, six. Same thing on this string, three, six. Here it's one less string, three, five, three, five. Find that shape, plug it in. And we have our root note. We build that shape around it and it works for the minor. And again, that works for any key. You just find the root note down here. Thrill of it all by the great Mr. B.B. King. B note, build the shape. Seven nine, seven nine, seven ten, seven ten. It's important to note that when you're doing this, if you've seen the all five shapes of the E minor, you can take that shape two, slide to shape, shape one into shape two, into shape three, into shape four, etc. It goes all the way around and starts over. If I'm in B minor and I go the other way, this is shape five, now I'm in shape four. Shape three, back to shape four, shape five, shape one. So really the order of this would be learning how to find the root, constructing shape one, then going to the E minor video, all five shapes, learning all five shapes and then practicing them. We're doing this by identifying the root and the root note is in all five shapes. So once you get better at this, you can also replicate this exercise, for example, by finding the B note on a different string and creating a different shape around that. But it works the best with shape one. So this is how we start. Find the root, plug in the shape, hit play on the song, and you just start jamming. It really, really is that simple. So let's try to maybe put a backing track on so I can show you how it works in live time and you can go onto YouTube, play your favorite songs, Google the key and jam with them or just look up backing tracks. It is important though you remember major keys on the G string, minor keys on the E string. Okay, so here we are. We got a backing track playing in the background now. And this is in C major. The chord progression is C 
G, F, E minor. So it is a one, five, four, three in the key of C. So the first thing I need to do is find my C note. This is G, A, B, C. Now here, we build the shape, right? Five, seven, going up again, five, seven. For our first two strings, five, seven, five, seven. The other way, it's five, eight, five, eight. My C notes, my major roots, that first one I found, and it's also this last note right here. Meaning when I'm ready to finish my solo, that's where I want to finish on. So now I'm just gonna improvise with this shape over this backing track in C major so you can hear. Finishing my idea on the C to make it have a sense of resolution and completion, right? Now, this is also where an understanding of the other shapes comes into handy because I can go from shape one, which is essentially I'm showing you how to find shape one. And with shape one, you can jam. The more shapes you know, the more expressive you can be. Why it's good to know all the shapes and how to move them because certain keys it's easier to play certain shapes like shape one works great in this key so does shape five and shape four shape four up here not so much all about finding that root Ideas of resolution, landing on the root note, that's also important. You're going to develop that with time. Phrasing is really about creating tension and resolution. That was just bad, but... Resolution, right? Now, this would work with the same with the minor key. If, if this was A minor, I would have found my A note and plugged in the same idea and then build that, find shape one, groove in shape one, and then start to branch out to shape five, four, two, three. If shape one is here, then it's shape five, shape two, three, four, five, etc. But you always start with finding your major root on this string, minor root on this string, depending on what key you're in, and then using that to build the song around it. Now what you're hearing too, these are guitar strings. I tried to, I, I just wanted to hear what a baritone would sound like with guitar strings. Not super happy about it to be totally honest. As you are jamming to a couple other things to keep in mind, you have five ornamentations, which are hammer on, pull off, slide, bend, and vibrato also play more than one note in a scale at a time. That's called a double stop. Alright? So there you have
have it. That's just how to use literally one shape or one scale, the minor pentatonic, major pentatonic, to jam in any key to any song. There are more notes, like the C major scale and the C major pentatonic, you're missing two notes. The major scale, for example, has a B note. That B note is not in the pentatonic because it can be very dissonant or sound bad in a lot of different contexts. But there are times when it sounds good. So jamming with the major scale, modes, all of these things come down the line, but it really starts with a strong grasp of these pentatonic ideas. you jam oops slide now man kick kazam i'ma take it to the top like bounce kablam i'ma take it to the rack so call me shaquille when i start to shred it sounds so real deep in the pocket because i got groove and feel and i got strings on my baritone they steal i don't really know what to do i missed the mylon but i was like i might as well try them on and i'm not really feeling it probably changed back the old strings i had they were black sounded whack New ones are white, made in Hawaii Looking in the package like, come on Tyler, try me Might as well do it, but these are $12.99 Hard to throw away, just a single dime Don't really know, I might have to let them go But in the meantime, yo, I can feel this flow Single root note, I can let it go Yeah, I All I'm saying is you should shred as much as possible in as many songs as you can in as many situations as you can. One good way to practice this is to listen to your favorite song, Google the key, hit play, and just shred right on top of it. It really can be that easy, all right? New Ukulele Wednesday and Saturday. Subscribe, hit like if you like this kind of content. Think about becoming a Patreon, and we'll catch you if you're a baritone player for the first or second Wednesday of the month. Take care. Have a lovely day. Life is good. Rock and roll.